G'day, Steve Roberts here from Taurus Trainer. The Revolutions 8 method, or what I call the Rev 8 method, is a fantastic training routine to motivate you to exercise and do as much as you can in eight minutes. Now, the benefits of the Rev 8 method is that because it's non-stop training, there is increased blood flow throughout the whole workout, which in turn increases metabolic activity, which is great for fat burning. It's also very good for your muscle fibers, for your type one muscle fibers, which is important for endurance um, sports like running. And some of the exercises involved because there's also a, a certain amount of um, intensity and amount of power you have to use. There's some great type two muscle fiber work in there, which is great, especially when you're doing the last burst of running where you wanna get up some of those steep hills on the course. Now, of course, this is non-stop, so this is really gonna increase your cardiovascular output which is gonna in turn increase your maximal aerobic um, capacity. And this is fantastic work for conditioning and helping you maintain the intensity of the exercises that you are doing. Now the Rev Bates method, um, what you need to do is look at the exercises that have been given and then do the repetitions using the tempo and then do the number of exercises that are given. And then as soon as you finish the last rep on that exercise or of the exercise of that group, you need to say to yourself, I've done one round. Let's say you've been given two exercises. Let's call it squats and push-ups. You do 10 squats using the tempo given, then you do the 10 push-ups using the tempo given. On the last rep of the push-ups, say to yourself, I've done one round. Then without any rest, go straight back and then go straight on to the second set. 10 squats, 10 push-ups. That's two sets. Keep an eye on the time and make sure that you've got enough time to finish another round or two. Do as many rounds as you can, complete rounds as you can in eight minutes. Now, don't kid yourself here. If you get through the last of five sets of um, 10 squats and 10 push-ups and you don't finish the 10 push-ups in under eight minutes, you're going to make sure you pull it back and say to yourself, I've only done four sets, for example. You didn't get to complete five sets. So be honest with yourself there, and that's a good way for you to measure yourself for the next time, and then help try and challenge yourself to get to that fifth set. It'll make you work faster. Make sure you keep in the tempo. Okay, so there's the rev eights. What you also can do um, is compete with a bit of a friend here, so it's a great workout for motivating each other and having a bit of fun. Let's have a look at the exercises. Following your warm-up goes straight on to the first exercise, which is a squat with the ground touch. Complete five of those using your arms and momentum as you drive up, really try and thrust through the hips and do five. Without any rest, go straight into the next exercise, which is an incline forward running position. You can do a sprint, do at least 10 meters. If you haven't got a, uh, a hill, then you can probably use um, a treadmill and set the gradient over about 20%. Do 10 meters of that and then go straight on to the rope push up and pull up combination. Find a bar or a beam or even some ropes um, that you can actually do a push-up on. Plenty of parks have things you can do those things on. Complete as many rounds as you can of that circuit of those three exercises in eight minutes before you go on to the second stage. Second stage involves upper body exercises, the Chinese push-up. Find a nice, sturdy, strong bench and then get yourself in a position where you really are targeting the top of the shoulders. Do five of those and then go straight on to inverted rows with ropes. You can even find a Smith machine that'll do the same thing as long as it's sturdy. Try and do 10 of those using the same tempo. And then the last exercise is shoulder drop box. If you can elevate your feet, that's great. It adds a bit more intensity through your chest. Otherwise, really just try and keep your feet flat on the ground and rotate through the shoulders there. Do as many um, rounds as you can in eight minutes before you move on to the legs. Circuit three, Lev's re Rev 8. Bulgarian split squat, find a chair or a bench, something sturdy, and squat down so that your knee is um, behind your front toe. Do 30 seconds each leg. Find a nice strong box or a bench, and then complete five explosive box jumps. Land nice and smoothly on your knees so that you're really nice and stable using your core there to stabilize your body. Last exercise is 180 degree lunges, really trying to explode through the hips and rotate around so you're getting plenty of, um, plenty of training through your hip region there. 
do 10 each leg, and then without any rest, go and do as many rounds as you can in eight minutes. Good luck. Well, there you have it. The Rev8 method is a fantastic method for really boosting your results, getting a lot of blood flow to the body, a lot of, lot of fun, a lot of endorphins released. If you've enjoyed this presentation, get in touch with me on my social media channels, even share it with your friends, and make sure you check out taurustrainer.com, which has got some fantastic tips, testimonials, and resources to give you the edge on your training. Practical training, serious results, no bull.